It's amazing how whenever you would go to a restaurant or a bar, you know, back when that was actually a part of reality, that sometimes you would come up with the idea for trying a new recipe at home. I was at one pub once with a friend, and she had seen that you were able to get a whiskey barbecue sauce on a burger. So she ordered with excitement because it sounded like an amazing thing. And I had a taste of it too. We both kind of agreed, this doesn't taste much like whiskey. It's just plain barbecue sauce. Well, it turns out that uh, whenever you use something like Jameson, you're not going to get much of a taste with it. It's one of the lighter ones, and if you're into that kind of thing, that's the one you kind of have to shoot. To get the proper kind of a whiskey taste in it, you need something that's maybe a little bit more, I guess, woody, kind of smoky. But you wouldn't necessarily use a $100 bottle of whiskey for that. You just need something like Jack's. Lo and behold, this is my little project of the day. I made my own barbecue sauce from scratch with some of my friend uh, Jack Daniel mixed in here. I've had it before, gives you an amazing taste, and I'm hoping I get to share with a few people eventually. Well, first, before I get to that, I got some uh, things I should be taking care of now. Ah, oh, don't mind me, folks. I'm just using my voodoo power to see how long until this virus decides to go through a rock itself and just go away. <laughs> <laughs> 